Good afternoon, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We are gathered this afternoon on the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our Mass Presider is Father, Reverend Father Jan Sakari Hagisan, OER. Please rise. Sumigaw sa galak, umawit umindak, purihin ang Diyos, purihin ang wagas. Ang ginawa ng Diyos lapit at pagmasdan, ang kahanganga ginawa sa tanan, ibinulit niya ang hari-harian. Tayo'y hinangunya sa ating kaapihan Sa kanyang pag-ibig tayo'y iingatan Sumigaw sa galak, umawit umindak Purihin ang Diyos, purihin ang wagas In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit Amen the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mysteries. All together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, and to you, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. might giver of every good good gifts put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Moses exhorts the people of Israel to keep the statutes and commandments of the Lord as a sign of their love and thanksgiving to Him. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. 
Moses said to the people, Now Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in the take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. In your observance of the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoyed upon you, you shall not add and what I command you, nor subtract from it. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations, who will hear of all these statutes and say, This great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people, for what great nation is here that has gods so close to it as the Lord, our God is to us whenever we call upon Him. Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are just as this whole law which are setting before you today. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The one who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. The one who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Whoever walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slander not with his tongue. The one who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reputate of despise, while he honor those who fear the Lord. The one who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Who lends not his money to usury, and accept no bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things shall never be disturbed. The one who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. James insists that our faith must show itself in practice. We listen humbly and attentively to the voice of the Lord and act on his word. A reading from the letter of St. James. Dearest brother and sisters, all good giving and every perfect gifts is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no alteration or shadow caused by change. He willed to give us birth by the word of truth, that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Humbly welcome the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. Be doers of the word and not hearers only, deluding yourselves. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their afflictions and to keep oneself unstained by the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. The Father will to give us birth by the word of truth that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, 
do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat with purifying themselves, without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed. The purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribe questioned him, Why do your disciples not follow? But instead eat a meal with unclean hands. He responded, Well, did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites, as it is written? These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandments, but cling to human tradition. He summoned the proud again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile the person, but the thing that come out from within are what define. From within people from their hearts come evil thoughts, unchastity, thief, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly, all these evils come from within, and they defile. May the brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sa ating pong ibanghelyo, ang nararapat na kwento dito ay galing sa Ibanghelyo ni San Lucas chapter 16 verse 19 to 31 yung parable of the rich man at saka si Lazarus kung napapansin ninyo sa kwento or kung nabasa ninyo o narinig na ninyo ito ang mayaman po ay kumakain sa kanyang magarang kainan at si Lazaro naman ay doon sa baba. Ang lahat na lalaglag ay kanyang kinakain. At itong mayaman, no, lahat lang na nalaglag yung ang kay Lazaro. Pero itong mayaman, ang kinakain, no, ay sobrang masarap. Kaya po, in our gospel today, Jesus was correct when he said, Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come out from within are what define. Nalaglag ang kinakain ni Lazaro, pero nung namatay silang dalawa, si Lazaro ang pumunta sa langit. At itong mayaman ay pumunta sa impyerno. Kaya hindi ang nakakapasok sa bunganga na marumi ang nagpapadumi sa tao, kundi ang marumi na nanggaling sa kanyang puso ang nagpapasama sa tao. Oftentimes, we judge people according to their appearances and we easily deceive by our own judgment As what we heard in the gospel today, that the Pharisees and scribes observe and scrutinize even the single detail about the action of the apostles. Kahit yung paghugas ay kanilang pinapansin, kahit yung pag-purify ng kamay ay kanilang pinapansin. These Pharisees and scribes are known today in our own language as chismosa, or even more than this, as hypocrite. 
mga ipokrito. They immediately judged the disciples of Jesus by not washing their hands. This judgment is very external and personal. Nothing to do with the total being of a person, just like a single piece of a thousand parts. Kapag ikaw ay nagkamali ng isang beses, pupunahin ka na agad, pero ang siyam na put siyam na maganda mong ginawa ni isa walang nag-congratulate sa iyo. Ito po sa mga mata ng manghuhusga. People nowadays are far from the Word of God. They easily fit up with good things, especially prayer, misa, no? Ay, para sa kanila ay nakakapagod. Kaya po, hindi na sila pumupunta ng simbahan, hindi na nananalangin just because for them, no? Ay, nakakapagod. That is why if you notice in the social media, what makes the video viral is the mistake of others. Compilation of nadapa, nabangga, nahulog, nasaktan, nabaril, napatay, and we brand them tanga. Di ba sana kaawaan natin sila? Di ba may kasabihan din, according to George Eliot, don't judge a book by its cover. It means to say, do not judge someone appearance, maybe because that someone is more holier than what you think. Think it over and over before you judge your neighbor. Mapanghusga sa panahon ngayon, ang tao ay mapanghusga. Titignan ka lamang at yun na ipapasok ka na niya sa kanyang uh, nilalagyan or ilalagay ka na niya kung ano ang ibig niyang uh, isipin tungkol sa iyo. Minsan, nanguhusga tayo agad-agad. Nakalimutan natin na tayo din ay hindi perpekto sa ating pag-uugali at ginagawa. Wala namang perpekto sa mundo. Kaya ang lahat na nagkakasala ay dapat patawarin. At hindi lahat na makita na tao ay madumi, ibig sabihin sila'y makasalanan. Baka mas banal pa sila kaysa sa atin. Kaya huwag tayong mas mangusga at wala tayong karapatang husgahan ang ating kapwa. Brothers and sisters, in Matthew chapter 7, verse 1 to 6, it says, Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged, and with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Kung anong paraan na inusgahan mong ibang tao, Uhusgahan ka rin ng Diyos, katulad ng pag sa ibang tao. Di po ba ang mga pariseyo at mga eskriba ay mapanghusga sa mga disipulo at sa sumusunod kay Yesus? Kaya mga kapatid, mag-ingat kayo sapagkat ang nanghusga ay uhusgahan din ni Yesus. Kaya... Walang puwang sa buhay natin ang mangusga ng tao. Ang Diyos lamang ang may karapatang mangusga sapagkat Siya po ang may-ari ng lahat. Napapansin ninyo sa tuwing may nang-rape, may nagbenta ng shabu, pumatay, anong sabi agad natin? Dapat patayin din siya. Ganun agad, no? Ang ating sentensya sa kanila. Kaya po hayaan na natin, may Diyos ang mundo at ang Diyos ay palaging nandito. Buhay na Diyos ang buhukong sa atin lahat. Please all stand. I believe, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth 
of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us call upon our Father to cleanse our hearts and minds so that we may render Him sincere worship and be filled with His grace. With humble hearts, we pray and every petition of our response be, Hear us, O loving Father. Hear, Hear us, us, O loving, loving Father. Father. For Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, Priest, and Deacons, May their way of life be consistent to the sacraments they celebrate, we pray. Hear us, O loving Father. For the leaders of our nation, may they put an end to the spread of deceit, hatred, blasphemies, killings, and may they promote and protect the dignity of the poor and the marginalized, we pray. Hear us, O loving Father. For those who find their life burdensome, May they unite their sufferings and pains with Jesus and be comforted by their families and communities, we pray. Hear us, O loving Father. For all of us gathered, may we truly offer our whole mind and heart to the Lord as part of our true worship, we pray. Hear us, O loving Father. For our beloved dead, may the Lord show them great care and raise them up to eternal life. We pray. Hear us, O loving Father. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Hear us, O loving Father. Father, we worship you with our whole hearts. Hear the pleas of your faithful people as we promise that the graces we shall receive will always be offered for your greater glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please rise. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift it up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge, the pledge of life eternal, for having received the, fruit, the first fruits, of the Spirit, through whom you raise up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from me, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please rise. At the Savior's command, inform the divine teaching we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
please rise. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. sa pag-ibig ni Kristo magdiwag sambayan ang pinatawad at pinihayaan magpuri na di ka man karapat dapat di pa rin pababayaan at sa puso ng Diyos may itap tayong lahat sa pag-ibig ni Kristo magdiwang sambayan ang tinatawad at biniyayaan magpuri na di ka man karapat dapat di pa rin pababayaan at sa puso ng Diyos may itag tayo Mahabagin at mapagmahal na Ama, nagsusumamo kami sa iyo upang hilingin ang iyong patnubay laban sa COVID-19 na nagpapahirap sa marami at kumitil na ng maraming buhay. Tungayan mo kami ng may pagmamahal at ipagadya kami ng iyong mapaghilom na kamay mula sa takot sa karamdaman at kamatayan. Itaguyod mo kami sa pag-asa at patatagin sa pananampalataya. Gabayan mo ang mga dalubhasang naatasan na tumuklas ng mga lunas at paraan upang ihinto ang paglaganap nito. Nagpapasalamat kami sa mga bakunang naisulong sa patnubay ng iyong mga kamay. Pagpalain mo ang aming mga pagsisikap na mawakasan ng mga bakuna ang pandemya sa aming bayan. Patnubayan mo ang mga lumilingap sa may sakit upang ang kanilang pagkalinga ay malaki pa ng husay at malasakit. Pagkalooban mo sila ng kadusugan sa isip at katawan, katatagan sa kanilang paninindigang maglingkod at ipagsanggalang sa karamdaman. Itinatas namin ang mga nagdurusa Makamtan nawa nila ang mabuting kalusugan. Lingapin mo rin ang mga kumakalinga sa kanila. Pagkamitin mo ng kapayapaang walang hanggan ang mga pumanaw na. Pagkalauban mo kami ng biyaya na magtulong-tulong tungo sa ikabubuti ng lahat. Ukawin sa amin ang pagmamalasakit sa mga nangangailangan sa pagdamay at malasakit namin sa bawat isa, malampasan nawa namin ang krisis na ito at lumago sa kabanalan at pagbabalik loob sa iyo. Inihiling namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Yesu Kristo na nabubuhay at nagaharing kasama mo at ng Espiritu Santo, iisang Diyos, magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Tumudulog kami sa iyong patnubay, mahal na ina ng Diyos. Pakinggan mo ang aming makahilingan sa aming pangangailangan 
at ipagadya mo kami sa lahat ng kasamaan, maluwalhati at pinagpalang birhen. Amen. Mahal na birhen, mapagpagaling sa may sakit, ipanalangin mo kami. Sa Jose, ipanalangin mo kami. San Rafael Arcangel, ipanalangin mo kami. San Roque, ipanalangin mo kami. San Lorenzo Ruiz, ipanalangin mo kami. San Pedro Calungsod, ipanalangin mo kami.